Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Hubson X4 Air Pro uh, or HE501A model. Uh, this is a newer model released by Hubson and it's uh, very advanced. Uh, it uses a new connectivity, it has a built-in Wi-Fi module and it will connect with your smartphone similar with uh, the, the new Spark from DJI and uh, using uh, a smartphone application you can now control it and uh, have a lot of features such as waypoints, orbits, uh, automatic return and it also transmits uh, HD video to your mobile phone, live streaming and it's in a digital format so with no quality loss and uh, we are going to test that and uh, of course it uh, features uh, uh, some other things that are found on Hubson quadcopter such as automatic return to home, follow me, uh, it has FPV, headless mode, of course it has GPS, altitude hold and uh, so on. But the box as you can see it's rather compact because there's no transmitter in uh, this uh, version. Uh, this comes only with uh, smartphone control but there is another version which comes also with the transmitter. You can also use uh, another transmitter if you already have another hubs and uh, quadcopter. But this will come with an interesting thing and that is the booster which I'm going to show to you and uh, that improves the uh, range of the wireless uh, very much you know wireless uh, will work for 50 meters maybe 100 meters at maximum but with that booster you can go up to 400 meters with absolutely no problem so uh, the drone was from uh, banggod.com and I'm going to add a link uh, directly to this model so you can uh, find it easier on their site so you get a manual a quick setup uh, guide here and inside there's also uh, this must be the filter for the lens it's an ND filter which darkens the image yes you can see the filter here this darkens the image so it forces the camera to use a slower shutter speed and this is very useful in the summer days where it's a lot of light or in the winter where you have a lot of light reflection from the snow and it will also decrease the jello effect on the video recording so it comes with this manual and you can see it shows the regular transmitter here but it also shows the booster here we are going to discuss about those a bit later so you can see very compact uh, box here we get the propellers let's see if we get one set or two sets probably we should get two sets of propellers and yes eight propellers in total and this very useful key this is used for keeping the motor locked so you can uh, take the propellers off because these are self-tightening and when they fly they get really tight and sometimes you may not be able to take them out especially because the motors are encased in uh, the airframe so that comes in handy you are going to lock the motor with it and remove them so further on in this box by the look of it it's obvious we have the power supply the battery charger so it's the same charger you get on the regular 501S it's a 2S compact battery charger and this supplies let's see here it supplies 12 volt 1 amp so this will charge the battery uh, rather fast but it's better to use um, dedicated RC grade charger for prolonging your battery lives and here we get that booster I was telling you about and it looks like this just a moment to take it out of the box so it comes with a tiny user manual but with a lot of instructions here it comes with a micro USB cable also and this is the booster uh, this is a Wi-Fi repeater this will connect to the drone Wi-Fi and to your phone Wi-Fi 
and will amplify the signal so your phone will have enough strength through this to get to the drone and uh, prolong its range a lot and let's see some details this is the phone clip and it has a power switch here and a charging port there and it also has some LEDs on the back of it moving on to the quad itself it looks like a regular 501S I'm going to remove the lens foil protection from transport and it's now off and this is the black model my other uh, SS version is white so let's move on to the application and uh, mobile phone control which is the novelty of this model so I have uh, already installed the application it's called ex-husband and I'm going to start it I'm going to zoom in a bit okay so we get a disclaimer here user instructions okay do not show me this again you should uh, really read all that thing so I'm going to try to uh, use uh, the booster and configure it uh, I'm going to turn it on and you can see it has some pretty LED lights here on the back and I'm going to enter device and probably I should start the quad also and I'm going to connect the battery and now I'm going to go to the camera and zoom in some more all right so we get some instructions here i'm gonna turn on the lights that should be better so it shows where not to fly it shows us the basic functions all right okay learning completed and look at that we already have image here and it's asking me to calibrate the gyro it's the same gyro calibration procedure like on all aircrafts so you must bind your current mobile to the device okay I'm going to do that next and I'm going to skip testing GPS accuracy because I'm indoor so I won't get any kind of GPS signal here uh, let's see if we can connect to the booster so in settings we have this relay function here and the relay it's already detected here it has a software version display and set up the relay connect to the aircraft I believe it's already connected so this is yes connect now this is already connected because the LED here it's green it's surprisingly easy to set up and I can now go back and this is connected through the relay you can see it has a bit of delay but that's perfectly normal this is Wi-Fi transmission uh, you won't get uh, lagless like on uh, analog 5.8 but this is very well uh, the image it's much better than on regular FPV you won't get uh, snowflakes uh, lines interferences this is just like watching a video on YouTube it's always sharp it's always clear so let's take a look into the settings of the application so we have 
default height of waypoint, maximum height of waypoint, maximum distance of flying route, maximum radius of waypoint mission. Okay, on controller we have virtual joystick, joystick mode, you can change from mode 2 to mode 1, you can take off only when GPS signal is well, so you can enable or disable that if you want to be able to start the motors without having GPS connection and you can rotate screen automatically. On the map you have satellite standard night sampling ok this will download the map it will download it from uh, Google Maps so you can use mobile data when you are connected with the wireless to the quadcopter and that will show you the map. On other settings it shows the application version oh you can go up and down Let's try again from parameters. You have more parameters here on controller. Yes, you can. Oh, look at that. Uh, it looks like a uh, application from DJI. You can uh, select uh, your uh, joystick operating mode. You can set curves for them and profiles. Very nice on the map. That's all the settings on the relay. That's all the settings and on other we can see the version and we have here bind ok image transmission yes horizontal calibration and novice guide so you have a lot of settings here and let's see what else we have so it shows us the telemetry with altitude distance speed pitch row and yaw we have the GPS warning here HD quality for video and the video signal strength quality, transmitter signal, uh, number of satellites, battery power, and we have GPS coordinates of the aircraft and also of the transmitter. We also have these nice joysticks which appear on the screen and they are the virtual sticks that you are going to use to control and they are dynamically shown on the screen and you can go all over the place you won't accidentally push any of the buttons from the interface if you start here and from this side of the screen you can control the camera you can take it in to gallery mode to see what you have done with it you know we don't have an SD card and you can change it to camera or photo mode so you can take a video or photo just like on a DJI aircraft this button here is for selecting the flight modes we have waypoint following mode and orbit mode this one will show us the values for our sticks they are the virtual values Look in that corner here, there so it shows how much we are moving and applying power or correction and you can show them or not automatic return to home and automatic take off so for convenience the mobile phone will go here and you have this nice controller it has these slungs here on the back and it's very comfortable to keep in uh, your hands as the clamp is not uh, very strong but it has some uh, padding here that will keep the mobile phone I like the fact that the spring is not very uh, powerful because my mobile phone has uh, some uh, switches and buttons right on these sides and this won't clamp them so hard to activate them so it works just fine and it's very ergonomic to use let's see if the motors will start but for that I must go into the controller settings and disable the poor GPS signal option and we can start the motors and of course disarm them with no problem and that works very nice so it's now time to charge up the flight batteries, the booster and uh, my mobile phone and uh, go out for a flight test. Be sure to follow the second part of uh, this video review with its uh, flight performance and uh, also I'm going to test some of its flight modes, uh, test also its uh, 
flight time and uh, so on I'm going to add camera footage and uh, we'll see how uh, this uh, newer model performs and if it's uh, any good or not until then bye bye